ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let It Die. Um, okay, so I just logged in. Well, first of all, we're gonna be covering the Murder Hockey Stick. Not its highest edition. I think you can get up to, uh, plus four. We are just having the base right now. Cool. Well, <laughs> someone actually dropped me the highest form of the Murder Hockey Stick, so we could probably use that too. Let's do that as well. <laughs> okay, we'll get into the weapon and its attack pattern and why it is so wonderful in a moment. Oh, I also don't know how to do its special... I'm gonna look that up right now. <laughs> Give me a sec. I can't find it. <laughs> I have no idea. I looked it up on uh, wiki, uh, video, everything. There was like this goddamn wombo combo. It was like light attack, heavy attack, and then you can immediately spawn a heavy attack. It was just weird. All right, that was super unhelpful. Everything that I just seen. All right. <laughs> Well, yeah, we'll get into the murder hockey stick in a bit, um, but last time, the last video I uploaded, we got to Diamond, and yeah, um, those guys who do not, ha or have not seen that video, I got to Diamond, and I thought I'd do something that you guys were telling me that other people did, which I didn't really encounter too much, which is essentially build your defense so that people can get a win without stealing from you. Um, but they still have the option to steal from you, so you're kind of putting fate in the good-hearted nature of people the thing is, people aren't always so good-natured. Anyways, um, I joined in the game, and I just sold a lot of my inventory so I could pick up some of the weapons that you guys dropped for me. Uh, there'll be videos coming of the the Death Scythe and everything else. <laughs> you guys are fantastic, and thank you so much. Um, anyways, moving on. I joined into the game with $50,000, uh, um, and I swear I had significantly more than that. Uh, so, yeah. Ah, can't wait to see how many people, uh, you know, did this <laughs> to me. Also, uh, I bought a lot of shit. Bought a lot of stuff. Awesome. Alright. Ooh, and my fighter got captured. Sweetness. <laughs> awesome. I did get some money. Um, I'm still in diamond, which literally just... It baffles me. <laughs> baffles me completely. Oh my god, I had 17 successful. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that is ri okay. Um, but I think that's only due to you guys being champions. Let's see. Alright, yeah, bags! We'll open that in this video. Um, is this person genuinely trying to kill me? Yeah, okay, so she kills all those people. Great. Great. She kills all the people that just need to die, and... Oh no, this is a failure. Okay, so... How? How did my, no, like, I have no defenders who are, what? <laughs> what happened? Are you trying to, oh, and maybe she's trying to drop something for me? I don't know. But yeah, she should have not have failed. Anyways, this person, oh, wait, no, no, defense, six, I'm, I'm awful, I'm sorry. <laughs> that person died uh, intentionally to drop me the murder hockey stick. That person dropped Senpai Death Scythe so I can showcase it because I want to keep one because <laughs> I'm selfish. And this person, uh, yep, and... Oh, yeah, this person did it! <laughs> oh, yeah! Thank you! That is amazing! Okay, so let's look at that again. Um, he doesn't break my boxes. He just takes the Spilithium and the victory from being a diamond. Hey, dude, I appreciate you. You're the best. <laughs> You're the best. Nice! And this person does the same thing. Uh, wait, no, she plundered me. She plundered me. You bitch. <laughs> you, you son of a bitch, you plundered me. Um, yeah, this person, I don't think lost that much. Yeah, she just they just take some rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then boom, 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 and she doesn't take one stuff. Oh my god, this is the best. This is the best. Ah, <laughs> shit. This person may, yeah, this person was a shitter about it and took uh, my money. <laughs> so, you know, ass. <laughs> Asshole. I'm gonna take some of the pictures of people that actually got through and uh, took my shit so then I can rob you later. Uh, some of the people, uh, yeah, we can see some people didn't do that. Some people went ahead and actually tried to take from me, which are just the worst kind of humans. But the people, that only took what they had to, to get the victory. I think you're just great. I think you're just the most wonderful people. Also, to the people who keep uh, give, gifting me weapons, you're also the reason why I'm not in like, like, gold at this point, <laughs> and not in platinum or diamond. And this guy captured Patrick. Oh no, Patrick. Oh yeah, yep. You believe in fun. You believe in fun. Don't you? You're the worst. But holy moly, did I get robbed a ton, or at least like messed with, <laughs> kind of. I'm, I'm apparently I'm still in diamond. Which is baffling. Also, Canada won against said country. I don't know. I can't see uh, Washington. There we go. <laughs> uh, neat. <laughs> also, uh, we got uh, death medals. Usually, a lot of death medals for participating in the TDM. Oh no, we are in platinum. Yeah, we got we got ripped from the sky. Okay, I thought we were still in gold, but nope. And you know what the best part about being that high up? <laughs> it means we have to really fight for to get into gold. So that's lovely. 
Ah, I mean, hey, I'm, faith in humanity is kind of at a, a normal pace right now. Again, I think it's only due to you guys gifting me weapons that I wasn't able to get just abolished. All right, so, but here are the gold bags. All right, that's, that's not great. You know, you, th you know. <laughs> uh, semi disappointed <laughs> by that whole thing. Uh, death medals are neat. All right. Um, yeah, so far this is golden animals. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sick, dude. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we got an aluminum engine part that's really rare. That's awesome. I can't collect that. All right. Oh, yeah, this is a really rare thing that I'm never going to be able to have enough of to make anything. But... Neat, <laughs> neat, but it goes without saying, thank you guys so much for actually, like, you know, gifting me anything. I don't expect it, but God, do I appreciate it. Oh, we got some more stuff. Oh, we got red metal from a, a silver? Oh, so goddamn hyped, apparently. <laughs> nice. And gold bags. Okay, it's a, uh, I can't, it's a four star, and it says, while defending, um, increases rage gauge by two. Oh, okay, so yeah, this allows a person to use their uh, super immediately with the weapon. Yeah, I've, I've went up against this, and it's... Pretty shitty, actually. Yeah, I'm in the place right now where I'm, I'm, I could just make, like, because I've only seen one person use it the way it was supposed to be used. Everyone else just robbed me. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, we're going to get this spilithium of your fighters and everything else and steal from you. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, gold bag, I got cop copper wiring. It's worth it. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, it's been a long while that I had too much uh, everything. So we're gonna go spend some money. We're gonna go buy some premium decals um, together because we have far too much money. Far too much. <laughs> we're gonna get robbed instantly. Even though that's gonna happen anyway because we're in platinum and yeah. Buy premium decal. Yes, 50,000 kill coins. God damn. Also, I have a donut here. I'm gonna eat it. Good choice. I will now cook my special mushroom stew. Secret of my success. All done. My greatest masterpiece. The secret of my success! Believe in the power of the mushroom. Yay! A tier one for the skill that we always need. Stamina. You guys wonder why I'm not part of the mushroom club, okay? <laughs> no one wonders that. Everyone knows this is kind of stupid. <laughs> Give it! Yay! <laughs> You know what happens to me all the time? My knees break when I jump off impossibly build big structures. Yay! <laughs> Better off just buying material. <laughs> okay, hi, <laughs> welcome back. All right, um, so today we're gonna be covering the murderous hockey stick. Um, we're gonna equip the one that you guys dropped me, the one that I don't currently have, which is the four grade, which does 2,321 damage. What happened with my tongue and mouth? I don't know. I'm freaking out. So this is actually one of the stronger, um, well it was at some point, I still think it is, but other things are just like, it's weird. The barometer for damage in this game is like a fast hitting weapon that's kind of good, and then a weapon that is like hits hard, and then a weapon that like eviscerates everything but has like lower durability and costs a thousand dollars so it's not worth- Ah! Anyways, let's just get into its stats. Um, so its durability is 170, uh, mine is uh, 140, so quite a little bit. Another like 300 durability or whatever, um, guard against is S, everything is that, so why even have it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, its stamina is B, um, it doesn't use that much, um, and its rage move is 1. Now, this thing's rage move is very, very dangerous. <laughs> In fact, when I first attained the hockey stick, which you get pretty low level, um, I used its rage move because I was curious, um, and I instantly died. <laughs> it was one of like the first deaths I had in the game, because he basically smacks a puck that starts bouncing off walls, that does good damage, but nothing like boss slayer damage, but still pretty good, but it can kill you uh, pretty quickly, because it's a fast moving puck <laughs> that can instantly annihilate you, so yeah, be careful on that. But it does shoot a projectile, more or less, across the ground. Um, so if you need that, then there you go. The reason why this thing is so good, though, is because it is a two-handed weapon. And if we go ahead and check our decals, having these two are fantastic. Barbarian. 
Um, if you get a premium jacket of this and you can just buy the base one with silver shrooms, I think that's what it costs, you're golden. <laughs> you're good. Now, because decals are weird, we can't actually see them times slash multiply the damage. We can only see it when we hit something. It's kind of weird. We don't get to see it affect the stats of the weapon or the damage or anything like that in the in the menus. But yes, you can go even further with this. You can have a build that specializes in four-leaf clover, which is like critical chance stuff. I mean, increasing your critical chance, which allows you to do just huge burst damage at random. Or you can equip things like sharp. This weapon is a sharp tier weapon, uh, so it will be affected by those types of mods. Um, and you can just keep stacking damage, especially if you have a skill master. Sadly, the skill master with all the amazing decals, I still don't think tops the great above all rounded character that I have. Sadly. I'm mean, gonna apparently gotta do a bunch of shit <laughs> to get red napalm. Or to get uh, the, the skill master for, for grade 6 or whatever characters. Moving on! How the weapon works is this. Um, it does a bunch of quick light attacks at the feet. Um, which there are a couple weapons like the machete. When it does its heavy attack, it like jumps in the air. That will clear that. So be careful of those things. Um, but its main strength is in its, in its, I think, versatility in my opinion. Not only does it hit fast, that initial hit, um, but it also has a quick enough window where it staggers people. Where some things have a long combo, but in between each hit, there's enough time for someone to roll away. Especially the AI that is super specific at, at knowing exactly the window that to do that. But then on the other end, we can do a heavy hit, which is going to take their ability, which I hate. But anyways, the heavy hit is this. And you can keep spamming that pretty quickly. Now, it's, oh sorry, that's it's right attack. It's heavy, heavy hit is something where he full on commits and just smashes the ground at full volume. Boom! Which is wonderful, but the sad thing is that we can't actually move. So we're trying to move and there, we finally were able to. Uh, so that's a pretty sketchy thing to do, um, because it does leave you open for quite a little bit, but it also does so much damage to where it's kind of okay. And if I'm not mistaken, the wombo combo is a light attack and then a hit attack, which can happen really fast. And then I think it could also be followed up by like a super heavy attack. Now there's a bit of lag there. What if I do this, this, and then that. Okay, still kind of good, but not crazy. Now, when it comes to fighting, I should just do this. Let's just go do this. <laughs> I'll explain it whilst we're fighting. But as all the weapon review type things we do, um, we're just going to run around to, your, to like the bottom floor to the higher floors. With this weapon, actually, I think we can fight things like Cohen and people of that nature. With that being said, I haven't played the game today, <laughs> so you know we're just kind of uh, shooting at the hip right now. <laughs> now, um, from a humble a noob, <laughs> really, um, at this game, I think that this weapon um, is good, but only as a counter weapon. Um, and it's, yeah. <laughs> um, so I just went in the TDM where I was fighting every type of um, thing that was trying to kill you. I was in Diamond. Uh, so I was fighting every type of weapon that's made to have like zero opening. And stuff like that. Things like the machete, the stabby saber thing, um, and all that jazz. Um, so this is kind of stupid. We shouldn't even be doing this because this is just going to instantly kill them uh, because of its damage and all that. So let's try to find our way to an elevator and get out of this as quick as possible. But anyways, uh, so this thing, I always faint to the left when someone attacks me. So you always want to show your back and then you can crack them to the side like that. The reason why you show your back is so that they initiate aggro and they attack you um, with their heaviest hit, which also happens to be their slowest most of the time. Um, and yeah. Bam, haven't done that in ages because it's too risky up top side, but hey. And then stuff like this, you guys know how to dodge and all that jazz. Oh, it's my, why do I always find Megatrust right here? <laughs> it's always real weird. <laughs> He's not the YouTuber, right? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's, it's weird that the odds are just like that. And then we dodge, and then we hit. Yeah, so that's like the counter I was talking about. I think this weapon, the only way you can really use it if you use it as a counter weapon. But you also have to time that counter perfectly. Yeah, but we're doing 83 damage on a base without, I think, it critting or anything like that. So that's nice. <laughs> doing an explosive damage like that is always fun. Um... Yeah, let's try to fight an enemy. Boss, I mean. Uh, I don't want to fight the gunner lady, because she can actually rip apart my armor, <laughs> and I don't want that. Yeah, how about that? Let's go to the 23rd floor. Um, oh yeah, that's perfect, yeah, <laughs> because that's actually um, Gato, uh, which is a very... He has a ton of health, and he is by far my most hated boss, because he was just... He's like the first wall you ever get to in this game, I think, where you're truly just like... <laughs> what? <laughs> it comes out of nowhere, this type of like, especially when they like, you fight him at, at first and he's nothing. <laughs> he's just like a slug monster that you can just hack away at. 
And then he starts spawning people and it gets crazy. He spits on the floor and you can't walk on it and then you just have to figure it out and yeah. Um, I have a feeling we're going to do very good work with him and be able to eviscerate him, hopefully. Good thing about Gato. Sorry, Harper in the chest. Uh, good thing about Gato is he's always to the left, I think. <laughs> I'm, I'm always, I want up here. He's been to the left unless... No, he's here. He's to the left. Ooh, ah. And there's Gato. Let's actually try to do it with a light attack. I don't think I think we only hit him a couple times, but I don't think it'll be that much. Oh come on, whatever. Let's just do that. <laughs> Sorry guys, he's, he's got like four points of contact when it comes to sh like hitting his heels. I'm not dealing with that. Um, but yes, he does drop Candy Wolf. Um stuff <laughs> so that's nice um so when it comes to fighting bosses you're going to want to constantly use the downwards upwards as strike the one we just used um, when you're fighting anything that's smarter and or faster definitely use the other one the light attack i mean we could go all the way up to like floor 31 and stuff like that is there anyone that's near an elevator not really oh shit the floor 36 boss is actually gato i would prefer not <laughs> losing this character I don't want I'm not sure if I want to dabble in that cuz that I, not only am I up there yeah <laughs> shit I mean I have a lot of money right now I probably could buy back my character for all of my money which I don't want to do uh, yeah let's eat this <laughs> we'll try it I'm not sure man I'm probably will be okay <laughs> probably not very something you can put faith into. Uh, the reason why is it's not that I'm not confident in the weapon and it's absurd damage. It's just that I, being up topside has created this irrational fear. Not It's not irrational. It's completely rational, actually. <laughs> um, because when you die this high up, you end up having to buy back your character for a stupid amount of money. Um, it ends up being like 200000 <laughs> which is <it's> a bit, <laughs> okay? God, it was to the left. I do have a second life, um, and I'm not gambling. We're gonna be using the heaviest hitting weapon that I have, which is this. I'm also sure. Let's take stamina. Oh, uh, I don't like this. Well, that was significantly quicker than I had thought. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, and there is red metal. We can farm red metal pretty easily, actually. <laughs> well, well, shouldn't be crazy. This one does do a significant amount of damage compared to mine. This one is 2,200. Um, well, I think it's 300 at its, without being like beaten by durability. Uh, but mine does almost 2,000. So actually, it's not that much. I, th I say that, but I think it is. <laughs> I, genuinely, I think it, it is a big deal. But we got chests that are completely here to like make you make you die. I hate it. <laughs> I get this close to the edge. Nice that <laughs> we got that. But yeah, I was just spamming the heavy attack because they're like bosses are one of the only exceptions that they have a stupid high opening. Whereas with any like, uh, I just came for the TDM. <laughs> so I'm dealing with like the smart AI, the ridiculous smart AI that. If you, ever, if you ever fought an enemy with, with an assault rifle that was just impossible to hit, that's what I was fight, fighting against. The AI is just stupid. It's not even smart. <laughs> it's just unfair. <laughs> so yeah, I barely ever used those moves <laughs> because I was dying. Actually, the combo that I did use was this. Um, it is, let's use our shittier one, <laughs> which is light attack, light attack, and then heavy attack, which is actually pretty quick. Um, because otherwise it's this, light attack, light attack, and then a huge sweep. Um, which is actually good for clearing multiple people, um, and yeah. Is Gato always to the left, <laughs> or is that just lucky that I got that? I guess. Well, we actually haven't fought it against people that were pretty stronger, like at least up here. Like the, this type of enemy, where I think this is actually what it's supposed to be going up against. Hey, you. There we go. No, I mean, it, it kills them. <laughs> it does its job. Okay, so I, I hate doing this right here, but... People spawn, they're assholes. Oh, come on. I hate it. Fucking what? Hit, hit, hit. Yeah, see, that's why I hate that one so much. It's just ridiculous. Like, you end up getting double hit by the side. Yeah.
Roll. Haha. Uh -huh. How do you not kill that thing? Oh, nice dog. You actually cleared me. Nice. I mean, it's doable. <laughs> not so doable when you're hitting from behind. <laughs> it's bad. I thought he had a, uh, not that. He didn't have a wrecking ball. I thought he had something else. Hence why I was just like, oh yeah, hit me. <laughs> hit me and destroy my armor that badly. Screw it. Yep, that's bad. That's a mistake. Yep, he's right there. <laughs> I seen him spawning. It was bad. And just wait. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think it was when it crits, it starts doing crazy. No, no, that's not it. It's the fact that it's almost broken. Yeah, if we look at it, it's going to say what damage it's doing right now, which is nothing. That's what they said it's doing a thousand. <laughs> well, I don't know why it's saying it's doing like 900 with not armored enemies. <laughs> but hey, guys, I can finally like run up topside with that. We're like and manage it <laughs> without being completely screwed. So that's nice. All right. If I if I wasn't fighting that, I'm fine with most of those weapons except for a couple of them. Specifically the uh, the, the spike that one. The one the girl has the saber. There we go. Now, now I think I'm in a, I'm in a better place. Except, God, fucking melee or ranged weapons are just stupid. Yeah. So that's the bad part about the initial hit. That's why I say it's a really good counter weapon. Oh, I was trying to run, but that's not happening. Vomit on your corpse. But yeah, I can survive up here pretty much unscathed. Then again, I do have an advantage with the bloodsucker because that's something that goes really well with these kind of we this kind of weapon is it's only because it's doing so much damage that a portion of that given back to me is actually enough to like heal me for all their damage because I have resistances on my armor bottom line guys if you're thinking about getting a weapon I would highly suggest this one I will say that it is a weapon though that you have to it's purely a counter weapon more, more or less um, it can be a weapon that bursts down bosses so it's good for farming um, but as of like for instance, the saber is a very good weapon because you attack once and you you shoot your weapon like four feet in front of you and you're A-OK -okay and you're going to hit something. And if you don't, the animation ends and you can roll away really fast. Um, it's a really good weapon. But it doesn't hit that hard and it gets eviscerated by uh, hitting anything. Uh, its durability is crap is what I'm getting, getting at. Whereas this weapon has the opposite problems. It, it doesn't really hit fast um, or a long distance. Why did I make no money? What? <laughs> I made zero dollars. I swear I beat something up. What happened? That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, guys, that was just kind of like a weird update on the TDM thing <laughs> and how I'm still not sure about it. Um, yeah. Ugh, I'm now having to climb back into Diamond, which I kind of knew I did, but like, we were playing on stream and I got significantly up there. But then people were able to just <laughs> pull me right back down to the bottom, so you know. On the topic of the murder hockey stick, um, I have a bunch of, like the previous videos, that was the only thing we were using up against the heaviest armored enemies. It's able to cut through Forceman armor, or at least the White Steel edition, I'm not sure about a Pale Wind and the rest. Um, but yeah, the White Steel one he was able to annihilate through. Um, it just, it, it annihilated that boss at its highest tier. <laughs> I still gotta get the highest tier, I should've shown what it looked like at its at its shittier tier and <laughs> see how that fared, but I wasn't the most confident in it, guys, I'll be honest. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, guys, that was the murderous hockey stick. Oh, also, what it takes to upgrade, I should have showed you guys that at the beginning. Well, <laughs> well, oh, my bad. Yeah, so the biggest pain in the ass thing there is mahogany. The milk red metal you can farm from the wandering shop when he's here, um, endlessly. Uh, the hover metal you can also do. Uh, mahogany, you're also going to have to probably do the wandering shop unless you have like my current setup which is actually pretty I can survive up topside for a decent amount um, and there's one of these places I think it's at the, like the very very top um, yeah I think it's this place yeah I think it's this one one of these places it's either this or this I don't know <laughs> but one of these places specifically spawns mahogany and only wood type weapons if you just type into let it die how to farm mahogany which is it's like the highest tier of wood well not the highest but like one of the highest tiers of wood um, you can do that, or you can just pick away at this and buy a bunch of mahogany from the wandering shop whenever you can, and go about it that way. Um, but yeah, guys, a, fun, a fantastic weapon, hits super hard. The, the reason why you want this is because I think it's any two-handed weapon is one of the weapons that are able to attain like the highest damage ratings in the game. So that's nice. <laughs> that's wonderful. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan, and or Frost. Subscribe button above me to videos to my right. I appreciate you guys for your time, and goodbye.